Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to our webinar participants from around the world. Welcome to today's DevX webinar on DFID funding trends and insights. Uh, my name is Sophie Edwards. I'm a UK correspondent at DevX based in London. I'm looking forward to moderating this discussion today and hearing from our audience a bit later. Uh, before we get started, it'd be good to just do a quick sound check to make sure everyone can hear. So if you can hear me, please type yes into the chat box. Uh, looks like the audio is working okay, so we'll jump right in. So 2017 was a year of transformation for the UK Department for International Development. Between the resignation of the agency's leader and the subsequent arrival of new Secretary of State Penny Mordaunt, preparations for Britain's impending exit from the European Union, Brexit, and reforms across the agency related to contractors and funding channels, the shifting environment is set to carry on through 2018. Today we're discussing these changes and what they mean for DFID's partners. I'm joined today by two of my colleagues who've covered DFID extensively. So we have Molly Anders, who's a UK correspondent for DevX, based in London. She reports on development finance trends with a focus on British and European institutions. She's especially interested in evidence-based development and women's economic empowerment, as well as innovative financing for the protection of migrants and refugees. Molly is a former Fulbright Scholar and studied Arabic in Syria, Jordan, Egypt, and Morocco. And we're also joined by Matt Wolf. Matt works with DevEx's development data team in Johannesburg, helping improve our coverage of an insight into development work and funding around the world. He draws on work experience with Thomson Reuters in Africa, the MENA region, and Latin America, where he helps uncover, pursue, and win opportunities with local governments and donor agencies. So that's who we've got lined up to speak. Before we get started, I wanted to note that we will leave plenty of time to answer your questions at the end. You'll be able to enter questions into the chat box in the ReadyTalk window. And feel free to submit questions at any time during the webinar. I'll be keeping track of them, and we'll try to get to as many as time allows. And if you have any technical problems during the webinar, please send a message through the chat box, and one of my colleagues will assist you. And with that, let's get started. So today we'll be covering the state of DFID, including what changes have taken place and what they mean for DFID partners, funding insights, and what Brexit means for development. As I mentioned, we will leave time at the end for questions, so please feel free to enter those into the chat box. But before we dive into the content, we would like to get a sense of who's joining us today. So we have a couple of quick polls for you. First, where are you based out of? And second question would be, is DFID your primary source of funding? Great. Well, we're excited to have a global audience joining in. And with that, I'll hand it over to Molly, who is going to walk us through the state of DFID. Hi, everybody. Um, yes, I'm just going to try and remember to unmute my phone every time um, I'm supposed to speak, and Sophie, feel free to nudge me if I don't do that. Um, yeah, so we have some slides here for you. So we're just going to kick right off. Um, you know, I think I'm supposed to talk about transparency first. I did want to make one sort of quick note on the title uh, of this webinar. It's, it's um, the changing face, I think, or something like that, of, of DFID. And it is kind of a misnomer. Um, you know, in the last three years, we've had three different secretaries of state for DFID, uh, which is more a reflection of kind of the political upheaval of the times rather than uh, necessarily a changing DFID. And DFID has changed quite a bit over that period, but fortunately, DFID is kind of insulated from those kinds of uh, leadership shifts because the secretary of state is a politically appointed elected official. Um, so not necessarily with a background in development. Um, so, you know, these funding shifts are happening regardless of the leadership change. And, you know, if there is another leadership change, we're certainly not out of the woods with Brexit yet. Uh, that'll, that'll be the case. Great. So most everybody knows already the DFID is considered one of the most transparent uh, donors out there. Um, so in, in, because of recent events, I think everybody is aware of the Oxfam scandal, we're seeing a, a bigger focus uh, as a result of the safeguarding issues on human resources and trying to improve, um, trying to improve how organizations 
are allocating their, of your, their resources to HR uh, and hiring, recruiting, and also their safeguarding, and also how donors prioritize that in their grant making and contract making. 